I stand by the God who sent me. Let the one month be like one year. Let the one month be like one year. Businessman, hear me. Let the one month be like one year. Welcome to Daily News of Easy Channel. So today I'm going to be doing a thoughtful revision on the podcast by Apostle Joshua Solomon. September holds a divine sheet for those prepared to receive it. As you step into this new month, know that the heavens are open over your life. Every seed you have sown in tears, every prayer has wished back in quiet places about to get an abundant harvest. But this is not the time to be casual. Discern the moment. September is pregnant with opportunities, divine alignment, and breakthroughs you have been waiting for. The Spirit of God is going ahead of you to create paths where they were known, to level mountains, and to restore everything stolen. This is your season of prophetic fulfillment, and don't miss your moment. But here is the challenge. Are you truly positioned for this shift or will it pass you by unnoticed? Will you stretch your feet and expect the extraordinary or will you settle for the familiar and miss the move of God in your life? Thank you. Make sure you watch this prayer and pray along. Thank you. I stand by the God who sent me. Let the one month be like one year. Let the one month be like one year. Businessman, hear me. Let the one month be like one year. Let the one month be like one year. In the name of Jesus. Number two. Everywhere you have been forgotten. The Bible says where you have been forgotten so that no man will remember you. You become an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. In the name of Jesus. Let the book of remembrance be opened now. Open now. Do you know? The brothers of Joseph themselves thought he was dead. They lied to the father that he had died, but they themselves imagined that because they had not seen him in a long time, he is dead. The same way you think you have not seen certain results, you think it is over. You don't know that Joseph is becoming king somewhere. I'm praying for you. The Joseph that needs to connect with you, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let that encounter happen speedily. It was hunger that took the brothers of Joseph to Egypt. But when they encountered Joseph, they were not only fed. He said, call my father and come. They lived in Egypt in royalty. I'm praying for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You may be looking for a job, but may God give you beyond the job. Strategic connections. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I don't believe in poverty. So I'm going to speak over your life. I hate poverty. It is not of God. It's of the devil. It strips men of their dignity. I pray for you. The spirit that keeps men poor. Affecting your productivity. Affecting direction. And affecting capacity. I decree and declare. That spirit is banished from your life. I place upon you the power to prosper. The power to prosper. By favor, the power to prosper. By wisdom, the power to prosper. By value, the power to prosper. By relationships, in the name of Jesus. Every business here that is dead or dying, hear the word of the Lord. Jack back to life now. Jack back to life now. Jack back to life now. Anybody who is doing any construction project and it has marked time, you are not able to build it to completion. Let me speak to you. The hand of Zerubbabel that started that work, may that same hand complete it. May that same hand complete it. May that same hand complete it. Now hear me. You paid the price to leave everywhere you left to come here. I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, before you get home, I cry unto the God of my covenant. May a, may a, a, a boat sinking miracle be waiting for you at home. A boat sinking miracle, let it wait for you at home. I say it again, a boat sinking miracle, let it wait for you at home. Listen, we're wrapping up. I've taught you that who hates you does not matter. But who likes you in this kingdom matters. The person who needs to like you enough to turn shame to joy. I'm praying for you. Listen, I prayed that prayer. Maybe I should wrap up with this prayer. You can be gifted, 
but if you are serving a wrong audience it is painful to serve people who don't understand your value they will abuse what you carry when god wants to show you mercy he changes your audience he brings you in the midst of those who have the value joseph interpreted the baker's dream he remained in the prison he interpreted the wine presser's dream he remained in the prison but when he interpreted the king's dream same gift I pray for you you have been wasting your productivity on people who don't have the discernment nor the resources to honor you may my God change your audience may my God bring you to men and women who have an appreciation for what you carry in the name of Jesus and it's not too late to say this nobody will bury you oh no not this year you have no covenant with death i say it again no one under the sound of my voice is permitted to die before their time i shut the gates of the grave in the name of jesus christ finally the grace for favor in the name of jesus let it rest on you god has shown me help and mercy may favor rest on you rest on your ministry in jesus name we pray there are certain closed doors now it's not an attack it's because no one in your family has entered before you are the first who will be opening that door who am i prophesying to in the name of jesus i decree and declare i call upon he who has the key of david the one who opens a door that no man can shut and shuts a door every door that has been closed over your career over your life over your destiny i declare a be open a be open a be open a fata be open a fata be open be open be open doors of strategic relationships be open doors of strategic finances be open the treasures of darkness the hidden riches of secret places be open doors of career be open Doors of destiny help us be open in the name of Jesus. Someone shout open, shout open, shout open, shout open. Listen to me. Please don't be distracted. Something is happening in this place. Look at me. Every city you see has gates in the spirit and doors in the spirit. Just because you are there does not mean the gates are open. Now you see, if you grew up in the north or you have had encounters with the north, you will know that when you are entering most of the northern states, you will see like city gates. Am I right on that? Sometimes there are no doors. Until you pass that, most of the people believe that you have not entered that city you will see maybe welcome to Kano or welcome to whatever those gates it was an ancient principle there are many people who are in Abuja here but in the spirit you are not yet in Abuja so you cannot eat of that which belongs to those who are here are you ready for gates to open and doors to open listen I have seen territories where the inhabitants never eat of the blessings of the land it is only strangers that eat of it i have seen families where the children never eat of the blessings of the land it is strangers that eat of it we are going to pray that prayer there's an anointing on these open doors open god has opened some doors in my life as a person and as a man of god and i know the benefit 10 years can be compressed in one month under an open door. I am telling you. Are you ready to pray? Say, Father. Shout it. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus. Strategic doors in this season that I must enter. I declare them open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. 
I declare them open. Everyone pray, be serious. Online pray. US pray. Canada pray. Kenya pray. South Africa pray. Ghana pray. Lagos pray. Every door, strategic doors, relational doors, financial doors, spiritual doors. Take a minute to pray. All doors open in this season. All doors open in this season. Open of your own accord. Open unto me. Open for a new season. Open for greater influence. Open for greater kingdom impact. All doors open. Strategic doors open. Relational doors open. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Be seated for one minute. Be seated for one minute. My God, fire is burning in this place. Be seated in this place. This testimony of open doors, you will see how many people will come and stand here. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what happens when a door opens. There is no restraint again. An open door means access to the next level. All the rooms in a house are separated by doors. Just because you are in a house does not mean you will enjoy every provision in that house. You can be in the living room, but the door that leads to the kitchen is closed. And if it does not open when you are hungry, you will be in the house and be dying of hunger. The door to the restroom can be closed when you are pressed and you need to ease yourself. And that door is not open, it brings discomfort. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to bring all those that the power of God will rest on them now. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. I want to make a declaration. This is not just for individuals. All these people are representing families. I'm seeing in the spirit. Families tied down by chains. Doors that have closed over them. This is what God is revealing to me. I want you to bring them out. Every family here, not just, you are individuals, but you are representing families. No one has been able to go forward. There is an embargo that has sat upon families. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call upon El Shaddai. I call upon the warrior. Whilst you are seated, anyone here under territorial closed doors that have tied you down, Tie your family down right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it descend upon that family now. Let it descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Bring them out. Descend upon that family now. In the name of Jesus. Descend upon that family now. My God, in the name of Jesus, he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder, tied by witchcraft, tied by ancestry, tied by bloodline, in the name that is above all names. I say it again, be delivered now, be delivered now, be delivered now, you and your family, be delivered now. Open up the gate. Open up the doors. Will you open up the gates? Open up the doors. Shabala kabara tosia kabara. Open up the gates. The Lord is ministering to me that there are a number of you here. An anointing is coming on you. It's a barrier-breaking anointing. 
something that has never been done in your family you have seen it in your visions you are the one ordained to do it i don't know how many of those people are there but let that anointing rest on you now bring them out the anointing of a savior the anointing of a breaker the anointing of a warrior in the name of jesus dimensions in the spirit that have never been crossed in your family may you cross it now levels of wealth that have never been attained by your family step into it now step into it now step into it now hallelujah listen when angel gabriel came to zechariah and said you will have a son zechariah wanted to prophesy something else and he shut his lips and then when they were about to call him john they said no you can't call him john nobody from this lineage has ever carried that name john nobody from this lineage has ever been called prosperous nobody from this lineage has ever been called anointed nobody from this lineage has ever been called a genuine christian nobody from this lineage has ever crossed primary school secondary school nobody from this lineage has even gone outside nigeria i stand by the anointing by the god who sent me anyone here who has been tied down pegged down that you and your family cannot go forward i prophesy to you go forward now go forward now Go forward now. Go forward now. Go forward now. Go forward now. Alenda kapara sata kepala kusabash. Rabada kapara kusiata. Go forward. Go forward in ministry. Go forward in ministry. Anointed but under closed heavens. Go forward. I release you go forward go forward in career 10 years without promotion 15 years without promotion go forward now hallelujah listen listen I'm hearing in my spirit Jubilee let me tell you what Jubilee is Jubilee is an exodus after many years of captivity please listen listen we're praying we are praying there is the spirit of Laban is the spirit that never allows men to go it will encourage you with something to keep you small but it will never allow you go and have your own space it's a spirit that fights increase when Laban saw Rachel he liked her and he wanted to marry her but Jacob knew that if he marries her he will go away and he trapped her down he trapped him down and the man kept serving when it was time to carry his wife they exchanged the wife for Leah and the man stayed again many years the spirit of Laban you won't suffer but you won't rise that is the spirit of Laban you won't beg but you can't give because you are barely enough I pray for you any house you have found yourself physically and in the spirit that is tying you down not allowing you to rise to live destiny tonight i declare jubilee i declare jubilee i declare jubilee i declare jubilee be released to go forward be released to make progress be released to make progress in the name of jesus christ oh rest on me oh Rest on me. Oh, oh, oh. The Holy Ghost power. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, Isaiah 42 verse 7 Isaiah 42 verse 7 42 verse 7 to open the blind eyes and to bring out the prisoners from prison and them that sit in darkness 
out of prison houses jeremiah 30 and verse 8 something mighty is about to happen here now for it shall come to pass in that day saith the lord of hosts that i will break his yoke from off thy neck and i will bust their bonds and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him i want to pray right now before i pray for the sick i'm going to pray for you right now that anyone who came here and i want you to please bring them out very quickly let's do this very fast if the ushers are limited or that maybe prayer department can help them so that they are not stressed do you know why we minister to people this way you will have to be in the shoes of people to see the kinds of chains chains that tie destinies bondages that cannot be explained one person from where the international visitors are i'm seeing an anointing coming on someone there is i just saw fire where the international visitors are please i want you to pick that person and bring the person out now that that spirit of witchcraft we come against altars we come against powers we come against thrones dominions every name that is named wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name he said that at the name of jesus every knee must bow of things in heaven of things in the earth of things under the earth and every tongue confesses that jesus is lord to the glory of god the father you're going to shout the name Jesus. We shout that because it is the name that brings deliverance. It is the name that brings healing. It is the name that brings breakthrough. Please hear me. There are many of you who have come here thinking you are sick. You are not really sick. You are oppressed. Acts 10 38. Healing all day that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him it's an oppression mysterious diseases that cannot be explained your time has come now in the name of Jesus someone is going to shout loud under the anointing and that is not the shout the shout is coming and then I'm going to begin to minister deliverance to people by the power of the Holy Spirit the Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous listen God sent me for your sake I want your heart to be open there is no reason no reason when God wants to help you he reduces the distance between you and a vessel he has anointed shout you will shout it just once and every yoke every devil please make sure you bring them out very quickly prayer department help ushers please we can't depend on if you're in prayer department here you are released you are anointed to go and help do the work with ushers still in the name that is above all names and by the power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead I decree right now that everyone under the sound of my voice, God, you know how many people came here with with oppressions in their families. You know how many people you sent here by your spirit whose destinies would otherwise not be opened. You know how many people who have been asking for answers in the name of Jesus as your people shout everything that is not of God ordinances curses yokes plagues upon plagues let it give way now at the count of three you're going to shout jesus are you ready one two three shout jesus break break chains break break chains break in the name of Jesus, altars be destroyed, be set on fire over families, 
be set on fire over destinies be set on fire over careers be set on fire at the shout of Jesus be set on fire bring them out in Jesus name we pray the blessing is conferred upon people by saying the Bible says and he blessed them and said listen I've told you that the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit it comes upon your life alongside every kind of spiritual impartation they answer to words and they answer to faith words mixed with faith hallelujah a few scriptures and I will speak over your life please I want you to receive it I want you to believe it hallelujah Deuteronomy 30 and verse 9 media let's walk together very quickly Deuteronomy 30 and verse 9 and the Lord thy God will make thee plenteous in every work of thine hand in the fruit of thy body in the fruit of thy cattle and in the fruit of thy land he says for the Lord again will rejoice over thee for good in the name of Jesus therefore I prophesy let plenty locate you someone is receiving let plenty locate you in this season I drive scarcity from you let the covenant of plenty find expression in your life in the name of Jesus Christ Deuteronomy 7 15 7 15 Deuteronomy 7 15 the Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee Amen. and will lay them upon them that hate thee Amen. therefore I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for you and for your loved ones I declare be free from sickness and infirmity Amen. Isaiah 54 17 Isaiah 54 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn therefore i decree and declare no matter how that weapon comes in the name of jesus it will not find expression in your life isaiah 58 11 58 11 isaiah it says the lord shall guide thee continually is someone shouting aloud amen. amen every confusion every misdirection in your life going to the wrong places and finding out you are just wasting time find accuracy of direction now amen. let's finish the scripture and satisfy your soul in famine amen. and make fat your bones amen. that thou shalt be like a well a watered garden like a spring of waters whose waters fail not i prophesy supplies to your life in the name of jesus christ psalm 86 and verse 17 give us an amplified please psalm 86 and verse 17 86 17 he said show me a sign of your evident goodwill and favor that those who hate me may sit and be put to shame listen he said because you Lord will show your approval of me when you help and comfort me he says show me a sign the sign that God needs to show in your life to bring to an end the shame and the mockery may God show that sign this week may God show that sign this week may my God show that sign this week in the name of Jesus Christ listen they looked at elisha and they were wondering could this be the person to succeed elisha he did not look like it but when a sign came upon him the bible says he turned the sign was to part jordan and when he said where is the lord god of elijah and jordan parted hither and thither the prophet saw and they said truly the spirit of elijah 
don't rest upon Elijah. I don't know what sign God needs to show in your life to let everyone know that finally favor has landed, to let everyone know that finally speed has landed. But I say again, this week, may God show that sign. This week, may my God show that sign in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm Isaiah 43 and verse 4. 43 4. Isaiah 43 and verse 4. 43 and verse 4. Do we have that projected? It says, Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and people for your life. Listen. Do you know what this means? Listen to my message, the gift of men. You are as wealthy as the men God brings in your life. You are not just as wealthy as the things. When you have things, you are limited. Things cannot love you. Things cannot be there for you. When God really wants to help a man, he gives that man men. Let me speak over someone. You have things, but you lack men. I pray for you. Men, that includes helpers. Men, that includes comforters. Men, that includes financiers. Men, that includes prophetic people to speak. This week, may God bring quality men to show up in your life. May God bring quality men to show up in your life. In the name of Jesus. Finally, Numbers chapter 6 from verse 24. Numbers 26, 24. The Lord bless thee. Ah, you didn't hear that. The Lord bless thee. The Lord bless thee. The Lord keep thee. Listen, do you know what it means for God to keep? You have to make reference to John 17 and verse 1. He says, he came to him and he said, glorify now thy son, that thy son may bring glory to you. When you read down to verse 6, it says, all that you have given me, I have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition. He says, look for it, I see it's somewhere there, John 17. All that you have given me, I have kept, he says, and none is lost except the son of perdition. And that's that the scripture might be fulfilled. He said, but, but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day so when he says the Lord keep you it means that you are engraved in the palm of his hands beyond the reach of curses beyond the reach of all kinds of demonic things now that you understand let me say it again the Lord keep you the Lord keep you 25 the Lord make his face to shine upon you listen do you know what this means every time you hear the face of god shining upon a man that is favor you find that in the life of moses you find that in psalm 44 and verse 3 give it to us very quickly for they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them but thy right hand and thy arm and the light of thy countenance that is how they became possessors. So when he says, may he make his face shine upon you, it's another way of saying, may you be covered completely with the favor of God. I pray for you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. 26. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. The last blessing right here. Is something money cannot buy hear me the last blessing right here is something education cannot buy the last blessing right here is something your intellectual pedigree cannot buy the Bible says and give thee is a gift if you are not given you cannot have it and give thee peace listen I've told you my highest definition of success is not progress is peace no matter what else you have in your life 
if it is at the expense of your peace it was not worth it no wonder jesus himself is called the prince of peace he says peace i give you my peace i live with you not as the world gives there is a kind of peace that he gives you that surpasses all understanding I'm praying for you in this troubled world in the midst of the turbulence that is depressing people saddled with fear saddled with all kinds of um, all kinds of things may the peace of God be given to you this night may the peace of God be given to you this night in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ where you have been crawling I place an anointing upon you begin to fly like the eagles begin to fly like the eagles hear me whatever has covered your glory covered your visibility so that those who need you and have what it takes to honor God in your life cannot find you in the name of Jesus I tear off that veil now I tear off that veil now find visibility find visibility find visibility in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah why have you been here 38 years I have no man to help me not that the water cannot be reached I have no man where is somebody who is in need of one man one man who becomes a helper to say what is your issue or oh, a job see me tomorrow where is the one man who is saying what is your issue or oh, a visa come and see me next week i pray for you the one man sent by god to be a destiny helper to your life in this season wherever they are i gravitate them towards your destiny <laughs> hallelujah three more prayer points everything that has died in your life chiefest among them your prayer life and your passion for God perhaps you came here and it looks like everything God is dying or has died in your life because you see when prayer dies your passion for God dies your passion for the word dies eventually every other thing begins to die that is the central point of victory in your life your relationship with Jesus enhanced by your prayer enhanced by your word study enhanced by your passion for the house of god your submission to doctrine and learning let me pray for you tonight jesus is called the resurrection and the life everything dead everything dying in the name of jesus i use the words of jesus talitha kumi it, although it was for a little girl but i pray for every situation that has died let it come back to life now let it come back to life now let it come back to life now dead prayer life come forth dead word study life come forth dead passion for the things of god come forth in the name of jesus christ hallelujah can i pray for your finances will it mean anything to you if you experience a higher level of the blessing of the lord on that wise You need money you. let me tell you period it's as simple as that there is no other way around it money is not everything but as far as the matters of economy is concerned you will be surprised how crippled your life will be are we together now the person who is sick cannot reach the hospital but the person who is poor everything you need is around you but the wherewithal to make it yours that is even more disastrous if you bring something for a sick person to eat the person may not have the energy so it's not an issue of is that the appetite is not there but a poor man will pass every shop available everything available but the means to connect it to your destiny is not there and remember when we talk about finances i will emphasize again that this is not some mundane carnal quest for materialism but let me tell you i'm a responsible man of god and i believe in responsible christianity that administers to you the whole counsel of god anyone who tells you to down play the relevance of finances is joking first with himself and then you are we together 
the name of Jesus Christ is very heavy. It takes financial resources to take it high enough for the nations to see. The needs that surround your life, most of us here, if we're to read your prayer request, over 70 to 80 percent of them will largely be dependent on finances. Finance is very important because it can solve so many things. Cannot give you peace, but it can enhance the atmosphere that gives you peace. Let me tell you, one of the reasons, one of the ways you become a peacemaker on earth is to have the means to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what be, if you are owing Caesar, doesn't matter your relationship with God. As far as Caesar is concerned, the tribute collectors will come to disgrace you. When Jesus was ministering, they came and said, you claim to be a man teaching righteousness, yet you are owing the law. So you must know how to give to Caesar what belongs. Jesus acknowledged that there are some things that belong to Caesar. I want to pray for you. The kind of Christian experience where you love Jesus Christ, but then you are being incapacitated economically. I've told you that many people, because of this economic backwardness, it can tilt you towards the corridors of compromise. God can bless you, so bless you, huh, that you solve your financial problems. It does not become a concern again. Your concern now becomes building destiny and the purposes of God. Thinking about money day and night is idolatry. It's a curse. It was never supposed to be that way. There is nobody, an intelligent God will not design a human being to be obsessed and thinking about money because what you think about that worry is a kind of worship. Are we together? It says, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable. Many believers love the Lord, but this finance thing, especially within the, you know, you do not want to compromise your faith, but then it must finance, listen, until you know how to force finance to answer especially co-laborers those who are in ministry here listen to me in all you're getting trust god for grace to sort this money thing once and for all this is not an issue of pride this is this is until that is solved i guarantee you there is a, a man a kind of concentration you will never have as far as destiny is concerned are we together yeah the absence of finance is one of the biggest sponsors of compromise, even in our world today. Many people who love the Lord are forced to bend over and compromise. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, it says, having obtained help from the Lord, I continue to this day. I pray for someone. The dimension of wealth you have not seen. I call upon my God, the God of Jeshurun, the one who rides upon the wings of the wind. May my God surprise you. 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 Open up strange financial gates for you. Connect you to strategic helpers give you wisdom to manage and multiply your resources in the name of Jesus Christ hear me and your acquisition of financial resources will not be at the expense of your relationship with Jesus the wealthier you are the more passionate you will be about the things of God with it you will be a blessing to many with it you will be a blessing to yourself listen I'm not praying for you for money to just buy tea and bread. You don't need my prayer for that to happen. Just be valuable. I'm praying for you to become a trustee. A trustee of the wealth of the kingdom. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through water and through fire. And thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. A man can be helped by God. May that be your portion. Amen. Now, finally, you have honored me. You have prayed for me. I, have, I understand there are many prayer groups that have prayed, prayed and fasted for days, just lifting me before the Lord. Whatever gift you give me, is, there's, there's only so much I can do, but that prayer you have prayed for me, I just want to speak one prayer from my heart. One prayer from my heart. And you care to receive it i want to pr i'm going to pray for you no no you don't have to kneel please stand but it is from the depth of my heart every man has a covenant with god 
there are secrets that make for the rising of men there are things god is always telling us in every season and when he sends a word to jacob he lights it upon israel i truly want to pray that one prayer with that we'll wrap up the service but i want you to receive it if this is the only reason why you have come here tonight your coming will be worth it if you do receive this hallelujah can i pray that prayer for you father there is a grace called favor you have helped me you have made me to become an an expression of your favor that it is true you can pick a man and place that grace upon him my bible says and jesus increased in wisdom stature favor with god and with men you have helped me in the name of jesus from the abundance of that which god has given i stretch my hands on this day to as many who will care to receive from tonight carry that grace evidently <laughs> 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 Carry that grace evidently. Number two, God can empower you to walk signs and wonders, but he can make you a sign and a wonder. He says, I and the children that the Lord has given me, he didn't say we will produce, he said we are, that your life becomes a living epistle. I'm praying for you. The grace that makes ordinary men to become global phenomenons. The, 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 the grace that can make an ordinary man to become a sign and a wonder. Wherever you are, I impart that grace upon you. I impart that grace upon you. Let the nations hear your voice. Let the nations see the hand of God upon your life. I impart that grace upon you. Carry that grace evidently in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I want to release that grace for honor. You see, it takes honor for a generation to listen to you. It takes honor for a generation to, to, to acknowledge the hand of God upon your life. Joshua was full of the spirit already, but he told Moses, take some of your honor and place upon him so that the children of Israel will hearken to him. Being skillful and gifted is wonderful, but that is not enough to command the attention of a generation. Being honest and a person of integrity is not enough. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for someone tonight. May this mantle of honor that can cause all and sundry to acknowledge God in your life and to reward you as matching your true worth, may that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. so shall it be in jesus name and while all that scheming is happening and these spirits are planning from the realm of the spirit all they hear is a sound like thunder Shabakatoskiata. Ah, you are there in your room oh. you are there in your room Listen, Jesus was not invited to hell. He entered. Oh, it's in your Bible. Nobody gave him any invitation. The Bible says he showed up. He just said it is finished. And the next thing they see him there, having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a public show of them, triumphing over them in it. Listen, one of these days, you will find yourself in a meeting where you need to settle some things. You will start praying on earth till you find yourself in the realm of the spirit. And you will see books with the names of your loved ones. And you will tear them into pieces and say, this is what has kept this family bound. This is what has destroyed this family. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? Listen. The Bible says to deliver those who have been appointed unto death. 
a man of God once shared a testimony and I shared it here. I listened to him. He said somebody was supposed to take a flight. He missed the flight and the person was angry. He now joined a train and the train crashed. The flight too crashed. You see that these kinds of people have been appointed unto death. Whether it's bike, whether whatever the devil, there are people the devil does not want them to backslide. He wants them to die. That even in their backsliding states, they are too useful to God's program. He wants to get them out of the way. Ah, minus you, Koinonia. I said minus you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I've seen the spirit of death. Oh. I'm not just talking stories. The basis of my confidence is not my visions. It's the authority of scripture. But you cannot deny what you see. I think most believers are really, really careless. They just sit down and fold their arms. You are watching the devil destroy people. You are seeing your children become something that is here. And you are not fasting yet. You are not praying yet. You are busy trying to make money. And then the devil will use the same children and kill you. No way. Make up your mind that anything under... I'm going to be showing you the weapons to use before we pray. I won't leave you like this in limbo. I'm just showing you that God is mandating the church to rise to a heightened revelation about dominion over unclean spirits. These spirits that stand in the highway, I hope you know that a major part of accidents are caused by spirits. I have prayed for people who were driving. They were not careless. The steering locked. It, they will tell you they were not careless. They were not drunk. They were driving and the next thing, the steering locked. They tried to press the brake. It was not there. You will know that there are spirits. You must die. Hallelujah. With all due respect to medicine, how about doctors that have made costly mistakes on patients' bodies? Some of them were not born again and they were simply medical practitioners. Except that when a spirit arrived at theater, he also contributed in the surgery and manipulated their hands. Something that should be a basis for healing now scattered the patient's body. This is why we need people to be born again, regardless what you do. A business can, man can be on fire. It's one thing to know how to buy and sell. It's one thing to put a mall as big as this auditorium. Then one mysterious fire in the name of one wire sparking burns everything. And you, as intelligent as you are, you actually believe that that fire was a product of a spark. It's a joke. God gave us brains and intents that we use them. Spirits are real. Their effect can be felt in the earth realm. Again, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, every spirit assigned to your destiny, to your ministry, to your family, to bring shame and reproach in this end time. We raise a standard by the blood. 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 Please sit down. Hallelujah. I will only say it because it's something that has been discussed. I've shared it with the workers. When we started meetings here, about a month after then, the officials here were going around this facility and when they went outside, they saw something hanging in a leather and they thought, who is it that just threw this thing there? And the next thing, they picked it up and brought it and it was a charm. Well concocted charm. Only God knows what the charm was supposed to do. Destroy Koinonia, destroy Apostle Joshua Selman. Even a madman does not enter fire by mistake. As, as mad as a man is, if he comes near fire, he has the sanity enough to know that fire destroys. I don't say these kinds of things with any apology. Let me tell you, 
the individual and the spirit that tries this ministry dies on the spot as a testimony on the spot and you believe I'm joking try it so that your life will be a lesson for others I didn't say one week later on the spot listen I have seen spirits I've seen Jesus something happens to you there are things when you have seen you know how many charms this hand has held I'm not bragging I've shared with you my story people carry charms charms that are for families charms older than even my parents and I say bring it to me I know what to do you go you are free just leave me and the devil Listen, I submit to you, and I'm sorry if I sound proud, but there are God gave gifts to men. Are we together? No matter how mad, listen, we have we've been in just where there was crisis. Crisis. If his death, I would have died in Zaria for years. For many of you who know Zaria, there's no kind of crisis that has happened there that we're not there in a whole you understand what i'm saying there is a way god trains you you do not fear again anybody that plants anything around your life and if i be a man of god in the name of jesus christ beginning from this night both them and the charm the earth will bury them Hallelujah. Be sensitive, oh. Be sensitive about what God is doing. I just sense that God is settling. Tonight is a miracle service. God has just decided that it's a miracle service. For as long, listen, for as long as you pamper the devil and you keep quiet, you will watch him destroy your children, destroy your reputation. Listen. There are people today, by God's mandate on their life, they should not be this way. But they kept folding their arms. You know the kind of family you are coming from. It is true that victory has been wrought in Christ. But there is a responsibility component. Don't keep watching the ladies in the family go down. All your siblings have gone down. You are still watching. The gentlemen, they travel abroad and return back. Like failures and losers. Even those who accepted the call to ministry. You look at them and it's as if they are fake. Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every influence, every spirit assigned to my life and to my destiny. I stand in the victory of Christ and I establish it in my life. Open your mouth in one minute and pray. Establishing victory through understanding, establishing victory by faith, establishing victory by spiritual intelligence. hallelujah in jesus name let me give you one more prayer point say father every member of my family who is in bondage now i stand as a priest i stand as an intercessor and i declare by the blood of jesus they are released now open your mouth and start praying every member pray for your children pray for your spouse not under your watch in the name of jesus 
Katapakatush, Kebreta Kaparuskate, Shafres Keberekata, Impreketa Katosko Topre, E Greco Shekelekepa, Prante Kaparakatosko Toprekate, by the blood, release them. Release them by the blood in the name of Jesus. Release them by the blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I give you one more before you sit down? Say, Father, I declare that the fullness of my days. I will fulfill every assignment of hell to take my life before my time to take the life of my loved ones before their time is hereby cancelled open your mouth and pray the fullness of our days the fullness of our days this is the heritage of the saints in light please don't be silent decree that he might test be justified in the air protected on land protected by sea protected hallelujah 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 praise the name of the Lord have you noticed that in recent time over this city there has been some demonic onslaught of people getting into vehicles huh have you had someone that it happened to that someone just and ah, I'm, I'm angry my spirit <laughs> hear me I say this as one sent by God any kidnapper or any driver one chance they call it or whatever it's called in the name of Jesus Christ that anyone who will pick any son or daughter of Zion May my God judge them instantly. May my God judge them instantly. May the earth fight them instantly. Listen. Listen. This is what happens in a territory when the saints are lazy. You will think that these boys that are picking people and collecting phones and collect it happens in every society, you see. But have you noticed that there are seasons where it's like a pattern, it's like a satanic grace just comes on people, either stealing, either irresponsibility. The young people are not the ones, it is a spirit taking advantage of their partnership with hell. Many families cannot have peace. And all of that because of some kind of satanic thing. Anybody that nears your loved ones, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying by the power of the Holy Spirit, may my God judge them. And if there is any loved one who has been kidnapped now wherever they are we set confusion in the camp of the enemy just because you are close to where the anointing is does not mean you will receive nobody was closer than God than the disciples and you would think they will receive and Judas the son of perdition did not even receive anything there were other people who came to the anointed jesus they received the healing and they left if the woman could touch the hem of his garment to be healed she would have touched the hem of his garment to be imparted to everything your faith can do around him that is consistent with his will he is more than willing to make happen tonight there are those who want to make money from jesus tonight there are those who just want to use him as a ladder to be famous. But tonight there are people who are saying, Lord, I have misrepresented my destiny because the power component that should rest upon my life. As a man of God, I have told people receive. And I went back with guilt in my heart. You may be saying, 
I had to ask God, some of you may be saying, for forgiveness because I know that nothing went to the people. They just shouted amen sincerely and came back with no testimonies. It is those who are hungry and tired of their current level. The disciples prayed and prayed and prayed and did not see anything happen. And they noticed that every time Jesus prayed, there was result. They said, teach us to pray. There is something wrong with the way we pray. It was not prayerlessness. It was that they were praying amiss. A prayer was not effectual. It was not fervent. It did not avail much. Hallelujah. So this is what we are in for tonight. One last scripture and we'll begin to pray and trust the Lord to reign upon us. Acts 4.33 Acts chapter 4 verse 33 Please sit down if you can. You'll be, you'll be upstanding shortly. Acts chapter 4 and verse 33 and with great power not with great explanation with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and the Bible says great grace not just grace great grace great grace great grace was upon them all great grace was upon them all with great power with great power so i want you to know that when the holy ghost begins to rest upon people it's not just about falling down and rolling you can fall down and roll and not know what came upon you not know what left you and you stand up and that that revelation for some of you you see what is happening to you is not an impartation what is happening to you is the impact of your spirit as it is hearing the voice of god you will not know it's god speaking because he's not speaking to your mind it is after a week from now that what your spirit has received will now filter to the realm of your mind and you will hear that this is what god has said direction for the next level of your life for some of you there are strange spirits that have kept you bound you want to serve God acceptably, but these demonic spirits are responsible for the evil signatures that are written upon your life, written upon your family. You can choose to let them continue, or you can be determined that it must come to an end today. Somebody was given employment, and while he was rejoicing, by the next day he woke up with an email. And the email said that it was an error sent to his mail. He was not part of those that got the quota for whatever reason. How do you explain this kind of thing? That you have held something with your hand just to give God thanks and it reverses. I don't know who is carrying that kind of negative atmosphere. That atmosphere must leave you this night. hallelujah and then among the many things that God is restoring for some of you like Elijah your altar needs to be rebuilt because that altar has been scattered no prayer no consecration no worship you are not a man of his presence again when it was time for that fire to fall Elijah said put the 12 stones again according to the tribe of Israel and he said pour water and then puts the sacrifice and he called upon the god of heaven and it descended by fire many of you need to rebuild that prayer altar it used to be one one hour two two hours every day as a routine a disciplined routine with revelation but you became too busy going for ministrations until your altar dried up it used to be your diligence to study the word but right now, even if you sleep for 12 hours, the moment you open the Bible, you feel sleepy again. Let me tell you, for a certainty, it's an attack. Because with the same tiredness, you will sit in front of a movie and you will stretch another five hours and not sleep. It is an attack from the pit of hell. You must call evil what it is by its name. Some of you are business people 
and you know that things have not been working don't keep quiet when is the time to pray here is an opportunity and you are not paying for it insist that everything that does not represent god must live my life and live my business that from january up until now some of you it was at the point you covenanted with god that as i rise the kingdom will rise and satan said what did you say the kingdom you've mentioned kingdom in your business you have become my enemy for as long as it was all about you making money for yourself i don't mind but i heard you say jesus and his purposes the church the servants of god will benefit from your rising and it became warfare not business again how about students there are some of you god took you to campus you thought you went to study physics or chemistry but god took you there because there's someone you need to meet that is connected to your destiny and will help you spiritually so that when you are graduating you are living with two certificates one in from your campus the other from the school of the spirit because your parents would not have allowed you go for certain meetings they would not have allowed you prayed and fasted and so god used the disguise of admission that whilst you are studying what you are studying there is a training in the school of the spirit unfortunately when you got the admission you forgot that you were in two schools and you focused on only one and ignored the school of the spirit now you are in final year and you have just a few months and there is a curriculum you will need the grace for speed to catch up with the spirit because if you leave that campus without receiving the mantle you should receive you may not have that opportunity again Listen to what I'm telling you. I'm not just coming here to waste your time. I'm speaking to you by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. There is a young lady here. God delayed your marriage because the person you would have married would have corrupted the destiny of the child that God had ordained to come from you. There is destiny like Mary. And because of that, God has been so meticulous about who comes to your life. You've been wondering what is wrong with me. I'm telling you there is nothing wrong with you. It's not an attack. There is something you need to hear that prepares you. After which you will be ready for destiny. Esther would have wasted her time. If Esther had made a mistake and gone any other place, she would not be queen and her man would have killed the people of God. Everything God does, I taught you in the morning, is with respect to his will. With respect to his will there are many of you who god has been training for a while and you have been getting promptings in your spirit that you should start a walk but god has prohibited you you know why because there are things you need to know and there are graces you need to receive so that you will not join the queue and begin to frustrate yourself and ask oh god but you sent me uh -uh. tarry ye until he be endued with power tarry ye the lord is showing me the photo of a lady i'm looking at a body but i'm not seeing a face you can imagine it's just like you put a black leather on somebody's face and you are seeing a body and you are not seeing a face and the lord is saying that this is the mystery behind the shame and the reproach that has come upon your life and come upon your destiny but in the name of jesus the son of the living god every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown, you overcome. One more time. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown, you overcome. So as the Spirit of God begins to move tonight, I want you to know that He wants to reveal Himself as the great power of God the great power of God for impartation and for healings and for all kinds of things 
I'm going to be praying for the sick. I'm going to be ministering deliverance by the Spirit. And if you are here trusting God for healing, I want you to insist that your night is the night. Tonight is your night. And while I minister, somewhere along the line, we're going to give you an opportunity to come and shame the devil as you testify of the goodness and the power of God. Hallelujah. Now, one final instruction I will give and then we'll begin to pray. I want you to stand by faith, connecting with all your loved ones that are not here. When it has to do with this atmosphere of the spirit, you can have the faith of the centurion. You don't need to come to my house. I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. I say to one, go and he go and come and he cometh. You too, I know from where you are, you can speak the word only. I want you to believe there might be someone sick at home. There might be someone oppressed at home. They may not be able to make it here. They may not be following online. But by faith you can connect that tonight this salvation is for me and my house. Do not bend to the negotiation of Pharaoh. When Pharaoh saw that the fire was getting hot, he said, we'll allow your men, but leave the women and the children back. Moses said, no way. Everybody will go. Everybody. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Guess what I want you to do for me now? The first set of people that God is visiting tonight, prophetically, are people who have experienced strange, mysterious delays in life and in destiny. And the Lord wants to bring deliverance. Please, whether you are an usher or not, when I speak like this and the Spirit of God begins to move, I want to plead that you please help me bring the people out by the Spirit of God so that we can make progress there is a lot for us to do tonight every destiny that has been tied down delayed so that you will not make progress in the name of jesus i am declaring right now as the holy spirit comes upon you that yoke of delay is broken that yoke of delay is broken that yoke of delay is broken Broken by the Spirit of the Living God. Right now, I declare that grace is falling on you now. The moment that anointing falls upon you, I want you to know that that chain is broken in the name of Jesus. Therefore, I stretch my hands as many who have been delayed in life and destiny. Let that yoke right now as I speak, wherever you are. Be broken now. Please bring them out. Let that yoke be broken now. The yoke of delay. I prophesy restoration as that delay is broken over your life. Broken over your life. Some of you are ministers of the gospel. That spirit of delay, I rebuke from your life right now. I rebuke from your ministry right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be set free now. Open your mouth and begin to declare your liberty from delay. From the spirit of delay. Delay be broken. Delay be broken. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Pray and we could pray Southeast. The spirit of delay must lead your life and your destiny. Those outside, make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing three stones. One, two, three. And the Lord is saying it represents covenants of ancestry and that he wants to set people free. Many, many people you may not know, but as I pray right now, the Holy Ghost will descend upon you and every covenant connected to the earth that has tied your destiny as you shout the name Jesus, that grace comes upon you now. 
Satan to let those people go now. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be broken now. Be broken now. Bring them out. Be broken now. I command my God, please help them. I cause foundation. Every covenant of ancestry, every yoke of darkness, there is the word of the Lord. Be set free. I bring you liberty now. Liberty by the Spirit. Liberty by the Spirit. Liberty by the Spirit. Liberty by the Spirit. From all the regions that represent the east of the Niger, any family, any destiny tied to witchcraft, I say it again, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm seeing something like a ring being removed from the hands of people. And there are all kinds of wicked satanic covenants that have tied people. And the ring is a symbolism of covenant. I'm praying again. Whatever it is that is not of God, that has bound you to the devil, as I stretch my hands towards you, every evil that is not of God, that has not been planted by my God, let it be uprooted from your life now. 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 Hallelujah. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. I'm hearing the name Jennifer. Jennifer. My goodness. Please help them. Help them. Be careful so you don't march on people. Just take it easy. I will pray for all those who are in front here now so they can return to their seat. Jennifer, I presume that there will be many people with that name, but I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Jennifer, I want to pray for you. Every planting, I'm going to pray for your family is using you. You will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen to you after this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me, I don't know if you're a couple or you came alone. Five years, you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Please listen to the instruction. Don't just jump out. Five years. Who is the person? Five years. Five, exactly five years. I'm not saying you are just trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Five years. This is what the Lord is showing me. Who is that person? Salvation has come for you. My friend, you, we have to hurry up. There's a lot for us to do. She's five years. My sister, look at me. I want to pray for you. Five years. Ah, this is amazing. I'm praying. Ah. God is going to rewrite people's stories. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for this lady. But I'm hearing a shout from my right side. You would think that I'm praying here. And yet the person the power of God is touching is by my right side at the crowd there. And you are wondering, okay, what is God doing? What kind of impartation 
is happening to someone right there that I'm praying for people in front here and I've not even attended to their needs and yet the person that God is touching is right somewhere at the back please when you find that person bring that person for me it's a marvelous impartation that God is doing for that person you will never be the same it is a reign of the spirit upon your life my sister five years you've been trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb where are you from Huh? Abia State. Abia State. You believe in Jesus? Father, I don't care what the situation is. In the name of Jesus, by the rod of a higher priesthood, I stretch my hands towards you according to the time of life. In the name of Jesus, return with your miracle. Return with your miracle. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for all of you here. I hope you are married. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I decree and declare, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. My sister, look at me, this lady. I just saw like fire come upon your head, and the Lord is saying it is over. This is what I announce to you by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, let it come to an end by the Spirit of the Living God. In the name of Jesus. Now, there are two ladies, you are not married, but you are going to begin to feel fire literal fire in your belly this one is a prophetic thing god is doing this one has nothing to do with it's like pregnancy but there is an impartation of the spirit there is something that god is doing it says out of your belly shall flow there is there is a stirring within your spirit man and what is happening to you is as a response to that hallelujah let me pray for those who are here first all of you who has come out my dear the Lord is going to use you this lady wearing blue I release that grace now upon you you will never be the same by the power of the Holy Spirit may the Lord find a mighty vessel in you in the name of Jesus now for all of you who are here I stretch my hands everything that represents the workings of darkness the workings of witchcraft right now you are here standing I release you let it be broken now let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Let, let it be broken now. From your life, broken from your destiny. Never to return to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is Joel? Joel. J-O-E-L. I'm hearing a name. Joel. 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 Is there someone with that name? You are wearing like i'm seeing it like an orange t-shirt joel is there someone like that an orange t-shirt this is what i'm seeing in my vision joel please verify what is your name my friend come i'm under the shadow of grace. your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. Joel, look at me. What do you do? I'm a comedian and a student. You are a comedian? Yes, <laughs> What is the relationship between comedy and ministry? Because this man, as I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a mighty call of God upon your life. This is, this is... This looks like you are just making people laugh, but there is a grace that is coming upon you. You will marvel and wonder at what God begins to do. I stretch my hands. May that anointing for your destiny, let it rest upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for this Joel, in the name of Jesus, you are Joel also. I decree and declare, as you have believed, I release grace upon you. May God use you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ your father does woodwork like a carpenter like woodwork what does your father do carpenter I am victorious my friend listen to me God is going to use you to wipe the tears of your family Listen, 
because I'm looking at someone in my vision and this has been your prayer that God will lift you so that you will lift your family members let me tell you the truth God is going to honor you in ways that will surprise you and as I'm praying for him I'm praying for everyone here may God raise you for the sake of your loved ones I say it again may my God raise you for the sake of your loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone here your mother has cancer this is what I'm seeing your mother has cancer I'm going to pray for the sick shortly but just just allow me do what God your mother has cancer if there is such a person please let me just speak over your life very quickly before we continue your mother has cancer whether you are outside please when you find such a person let me know and if it's someone who is following online let me know I want to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death I want to pray for you there is someone here as you are here now you are holding the photo of your loved one I think it's like someone who is sick a hard photo copy I'm not talking of uh, maybe phone by phone a hard copy of your loved one I want to pray for you please make sure you don't tell lies and and then you respond quickly so that we don't waste our time hallelujah you are holding a photo if you are that person let me just speak over your life before we pray hallelujah one two three four five six seven I'm seeing seven people in my vision and no no I'm not even talking of this this was something else the seven people in my vision that I'm seeing, I want to pray a prayer for them now. And that prayer that I'm praying for them, seven of you, there is a mighty grace for leadership. This is the anointing that is coming on you. I want to pray for them. Seven, there might be many people, but this some of you do not even know that you have been called is a Joseph order of grace. I pray for you wherever you are, seven of you, may that grace right now rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. Apostolic leadership by the Spirit of God. May that grace be released upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. May that grace help them please. May that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. The one holding the photo. I, I can imagine that most of you are holding people's photos. But I want to pray for you. One of you right now, as I'm speaking, the power of God is coming upon you. I just saw like fire just come upon you. There's one of you right now. It's an instruction God gave me to wait until that happens. And then I can minister to you. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Right now, for the sick person you are holding. Ah, I'm hearing another name. Even though I'm in the east, I'm hearing Audu. Audu. I don't know if it's the name of somebody or your surname, Audu, A-U-D-U. I believe that should be it. This is the East, but I'm hearing that name, Audu, and I'm hearing restoration for that family. I don't know who that person is, but if you are in this place, please let me minister to you. Otherwise, I want you to open up your heart to receive. I pray for all those who are holding their photos here. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, for every need that is represented in the photos of your loved ones, may the God of heaven arise and visit them right now. Write this down. There is a mighty revival that is coming to your campus. Hear what I'm saying? There is a mighty revival that is coming to your campus and some of those people are in this place right now i'm not even talking of fellowship leaders there is a mighty revival i started seeing this in the morning and the lord has given me the allowance to release that grace you are a student on campus here it's time for you to receive of this fire and this grace lord where are they the men and women that you are calling by the spirit in this season at the count of three i'm going to stretch my hand may this mantle from heaven that it will rest and ignite you with fire from whatever campus you are here represented. Father, at the count of three, let those that will spearhead your mighty move across campuses, may this fire and this grace rest upon them now. One, 
two, three, take that fire, take that fire, take that fire upon the campus, prayer like never before, revelation like never before, consecration like never before, both students and lecturers carry that grace, both students and lecturers carry that grace, both students and lecturers carry that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord has showed me a gentleman here. I want to pray for you. I hope I'm not wasting your time. You are from a royal family. You are from a royal family. You are from a royal family. You are a gentleman from a royal family. I want to pray for you. There is something that destroys people where you came from. Royal, make sure you are from a royal family. Please let me, who is that person? You are from a royal family? Where is that? In the Tumbi. What's the name of the, um, how do they, how do you call it here? So someone help me. What was the? In the two, royal family of River State. Okay. How about you, sir? Nsuka. Aloma Nsuka. What family? Is there someone like that? Many of you may not know. How about you? I want to pray. There is a spirit. Perhaps not all of you, but the Lord is asking me to pray. You come from a royal family. There is something we need to destroy. Even though it's a royal family, people never become great. And if anybody rises to be great, it's like a sacrifice. You start having dreams and that person must go down. I want to pray for you. Why are these gentlemen coming? You are from a royal family? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, there are two of you here. The call of God is upon your life. The mighty call of God is upon your life. Call of God is upon your life. I'm praying for you. Let me start with those two. In the name of Jesus Christ, the dealings of the spirit that will make you become powerful vessels, may that grace be released upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, may that grace be released upon you. And then for everyone here, any covenant connected to the family you are coming from that kills people and destroys people. In the name of Jesus, we declare that spirit leaves you once and for all. <laughs> Hallelujah. You have been looking for your brother. This is almost four years. And you have not seen the person this is what the lord is revealing to me almost four years it's like the person whether is missing or went somewhere but they've not been able to see the person they don't even know whether he is dead or the person is alive and the lord is asking me to pray the person is not dead with what i'm seeing in my vision somebody told him that they want to walk out a way for him and take him to europe to go out of nigeria in the name of jesus I pray for that family. Huh? No, listen, don't, don't cry. Your brother, who is that? Who is, who is, who is? Your brother? Where? From Delta, sir. From? From Delta. You are from Delta? Yes, sir. You've not seen him? No. For how long? More than 10 years now. He's about to travel abroad. This one I'm talking about four years, but I will still pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Where are you coming from, my friend? I'm seeing a chain around you. And the Lord is saying, lose him. I declare right now. Let that chain leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that chain be broken from your life. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you everyone who is missing in your life and everything that is missing in your life by the power that raised Christ from the dead may it be restored now may it be restored now may it be restored now in the name of Jesus now the Lord wants me to pray against the spirit of death the spirit of death some of you will be surprised as I pray this prayer because you go to sleep 
and all you see are dead people that have already gone some of them calling you and you have prayed for some of you you have fasted and you don't know what is this thing that is connecting you with the dead i want to pray for you and bring a separation between life and death there is a gulf in the spirit and they should never meet anyone here who is a victim of the manipulation of the spirit of death right now as i stretch my hands may that grace come upon you for your deliverance be set free help them please be set free from that satanic influence i declare you shall not die i declare you shall not die i declare you shall not die in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision. Madam, I'm seeing in a vision your prayer mountain. This is what God is showing me in a vision. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that you have been faithful, that another cubit is measured for you in the spirit. This is what God is saying, I should tell you, that another cubit is being measured for you in the spirit and that you will begin to walk in higher levels of prophetic power this is what god is revealing to me that he will start showing you not just things relating to those around you but even things that are connected to nations and territories and god is saying as a sign you will start having people come from many nations for a retreat on your prayer ground not just people around people who come as a group from other nations and say we have heard about what god is doing we are coming here to come and pray and to access grace may the lord bring his word to pass even by the spirit of the living god in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ is there someone with a name elo chuku elo chuku e-l-o then chuku elo chuku i believe that is a name Hello, Chuku. Is there someone with that name? I want to pray for you. The Lord wants to bring to end every satanic captivity. Hello, Chuku. I'm hearing that name in the spirit. What do you do, sir? Your wife. Is it a male or female name or both? Okay, both. Your name is Hello, Chuku. Your wife, sir. What do you do? Me. I'm a minister. You're a minister of the gospel. Yes, sir. You run a church. Yeah. I want to pray for you. We'll pray since you are standing in for your wife. We'll pray for you. Hello, Chuku. The Lord wants to roll away shame and reproach. Is it your name or your son name? Sir, my son name. Your son name? Yes, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. There is a gentle man that I'm seeing by the Spirit of God. The revelatory grace, the grace of a teacher, but it's a prophetic dimension of a teacher. You will become a rising voice almost. It will be like, where did this guy suddenly come from? You will start teaching scripture with such power. This is an ordination that God wants to bring you into this dimension. I know that there are many people who desire this grace, but I'm praying for you now. There is a gentleman, but I'm also seeing the fire spread. There are at least 11 of you from that one person. A strange grace, prophetic dimension of the teaching grace. I stretch my hands towards you. Wherever you are, may my God bring you into that level of spiritual understanding. Hallelujah. Listen, I know that I'm praying for everybody, but there is an exact gentleman. You will start ministering with strange levels of understanding. Your spiritual acumen, your understanding of scripture. People will look at you, even those who are close to you, will say in the last two or three months, you have changed. Something has come on you. This man is one of them, wearing glasses. Take that grace. May that grace rest upon you. A strange order of the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Your eyes will see insight into the word of God. And everybody who desires that grace, I stretch my hands. May the spirit of revelation rest upon you now. May the spirit of revelation rest upon you now. Rest upon you 
now. Hallelujah. Bishop, sir, with all due respect, the Lord is saying I should speak to your wife and to you. First to your wife. Madam, I do not know you, but there is the grace, a prophetic grace that God is placing upon this woman. You have seen it in a dimension, but the Lord is measuring another cubit. And I stretch my hands. May you begin to walk in this strange order of grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And your Lordship, sir, with all due respect, let me just speak to you. I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the spirit. And every time the Lord shows me this, he's increasing your sphere of influence. I'm placing grace. I release that grace now. Let it come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, for you and your wife and for your vision, I shift you by prophecy into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ, please help him. Help him. Let's honor him as touching what he carries. God bless you. Thank you for your humility, sir. May the Lord truly honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sir, new wine. This man, new wine. Come. Please come. New wine is coming upon you. Father, help this man. Let grace rest upon you. Things you have not seen, dimensions you have not entered, may my God bring you into this experience. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, that grace rests upon you. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, there is a gentleman, you are among those doing the work of the protocol, but there is a mighty hand of God upon your life. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that your time of visitation is here. You are among the gentlemen doing the protocol work. But in the name of Jesus, wherever that person is, I decree and declare, help him. In the name of Jesus, let that grace rest upon you and shift you to strange dimensions in the spirit. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is still telling me that he wants to raise teachers in the east. I'm hearing this in the spirit that he wants to raise teachers in the east and he's asking me to still pray that prayer that i pray he wants to raise teachers soundness of the word i pray for you i don't know how many people are aligning their spirit to this prophetic word but let that teacher anointing let it rest upon you now let that teacher anointing rest upon you now Rest upon you now to build God's people with power, to build God's people with grace. Hallelujah. I gave a prophetic word, was it yesterday or this morning? And the Lord is asking me to repeat it about a boy in state. That there are people, I am seeing a Macedonian call. The Lord is still asking me to repeat it. I gave that word yesterday. That there is a revival that God wants to bring in a boy state and there is a Macedonian call there are people who are available and willing but they are looking for people of stature that God will use to mentor and raise and train them I'm praying for them and if there is anyone here who God will be sending or through your life or through your ministry I'm praying that the increasing to raise these mighty people let it be released upon you let it be released upon you. Hallelujah. There is a woman. The power of God is coming upon you. You are an example of what they call a prayer warrior. You are really a prayer warrior. Not just in name. You are really a prayer warrior. May that grace. I'm staring that grace. You are a woman. You are really a prayer warrior. Such power and grace is going to come upon you. You will pray and shift the climates of cities and nations even by the spirit help them please so that you don't have to drag them just take it easy a prayer warrior you know most people just say i'm a prayer warrior a prayer warrior is a warrior that wars in the place of prayer and birth establishing victory i'm praying wherever that woman is let that grace that you need for the season that is coming may it be released upon you now may it be released upon you now in the name of jesus 
is there someone by the name Christopher? Christopher. I'm hearing the name Christopher, like Chris Christopher, in the name of Jesus Christ. Christopher. What do you do, my friend? This man or what? Huh? Back from my prayer. No, 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 don't cry. What, what? Talk to me, my friend. I just came back from abroad. You just came back from abroad yeah. with nothing to show for it no. because you have been there and nothing happened to you. This thing is a very demonic and spiritual thing. I want to pray for you. See, promotion does not come from the east, nor the west, nor wherever it is. I can tell you if God does not show men mercy, you can wake up in the morning and sleep late in the night, you will still eat the bread of sorrow. Hallelujah. Please don't be offended. I want to make a call that is not a usual call. I want to pray for you. There is a gentleman here. I want to pray for you. Your friend is a cultist. And God wants to deliver both you and deliver your friend. I would not say this if God did not put it in my heart. You are a sincere person, but your friend has something to do with all this, this, um, this satanic, cultic, occultic thing. The Lord wants to bring you liberty. The Lord wants to bring you liberty. Christova, I want to pray for you. Christova, you prayed and you cried for another measure. I'm still saying this thing, oh, I'm saying so that you do not become a victim of your own friendship. In the name of Jesus Christ, Christova, remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. For behold, I am doing a new thing. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Behold, I am doing a new thing. I'm praying for you right now. You are the gentleman. Thank you for your courage. Eh? Don't worry. I'm not here to embarrass you. You understand? Your friend is a cultist. I want to pray for you. You see, when we do these things, it's beyond a man of God just showing that you are prophetic. You see, this is the mistake that people make. Sometimes you write, it takes a lot of courage for this man to come. The Bible says, listen to me, God wants to help. Ah, what am I seeing now? Don't sit back oh, if God wants to help you. Don't sit back. Come, I want to pray for you and deliver you and pray for your friend. Call this. Just stand this. These people have finished praying for you in Jesus' name. You return with testimonies, huh? In the name of Jesus. Please return to your seat rejoicing. I want to pray for this, my gentleman. In fact, I, I don't mean to embarrass you, but one of you, God needs to help you. You went somewhere and they gave you something to tie. And with this thing, it has been troubling you, disturbing you now as I speak. You are in this place, there is no peace for you. I don't know if it's safe to ask you to come out, but you really, really need to be helped of God. Huh? My friend, look at me. Don't be embarrassed, eh? Don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for you. When God reveals, the purpose is redemption. You believe that? This is not to stigmatize people so that you go and start saying, oh, you are a devil, you are a demon. Is the reason why sometimes, except compelled by the Spirit, is wiser to just see the people afterward. But sometimes, God allows this thing as a sign and a wonder. How do you stand in a crowd like this and then you are talking about this and these gentlemen are coming? Gentlemen, I believe that you have great destinies and we do not condemn you. This is a house of love. You understand? But then you need to be prayed for because some of you, I'm seeing one of you and please don't feel bad. That's why I said so that you don't become a victim of your friendship. That they are asking the person you must give somebody who is your friend. And the person is saying, okay, whatever it is, they are taking your picture and stabbing it with a knife. And then the person just dies, just like that. Everything that is not of God, manipulations of darkness that involves you for your sake, let it die now. I say it again for your sake. Let every plot of darkness, let it give way now. My friends, please look at me. I love you with all my heart and I'm going to pray for you. But I will, with all due respect, maybe refer you 
to any of the ministers out after service because this kind of issue is not just prayer for you to go the bible says blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked nor stand in the way of sinners nor sit in the seat of the scornful he says but his delight is in the law of the lord and on that lord doth he meditate day and night so i pray for you that every spirit that has been connected to you by reason of this occultic satanic activity whether it is friendship or it is you being the victim yourself i stretch my hands by the blood of the eternal covenant that speaketh better things than the blood of abel i declare your eternal separation right now in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you gentlemen please you stand up perhaps maybe someone can meet with them after service let me pray my friend who came from where where is abroad cyprus not at cyprus how long were you there three and a half years and you came back with nothing <laughs> don't cry i need to pray for you father show him mercy in the name of jesus show him mercy and restore him and i'm praying for every one of you here you have come out for various calls in the name that is above all names one of you i'm hearing is savior god is going to use you to lift your family members i prayed that prayer earlier but for you i'm talking of those in front here i stretch my hands upon that one person let the grace allocated for this assignment now be released upon you in the name of jesus christ let the grace allocated for this assignment be released upon you now and for all of you who are here i declare in jesus name you will return with testimonies by the power of the holy spirit you return with testimonies by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus let's celebrate them as they go hallelujah now hear me i want to pray the lord wants to minister particularly for anyone having any demonic satanic growth in your body it doesn't matter what name it has been called i'm going to pray right now whether it's from fibroid whether it's cancer anything planting that is not of god male or female and i'm seeing a gentleman is it your elder brother i'm hearing prostrate prostrate it's like prostrate like cancer prostrate cancer this is something that happens to men who is that person i want to pray if not i'm seeing that the devil wants to just take that person's life i want to pray you can see mama i'm going to pray for the sick while we're getting into the healing now but the lord particularly is asking me to speak to these people growths satanic growths in your body that must give way now everybody please begin to pray in the spirit pray in the spirit with understanding those outside who are part of the service online part of the service any demonic stranger manifesting as a growth in your body it's time for it to give way every planting that is not by my father i'm about to pray for you and it must give way are you praying in the spirit miracles are happening right now 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 that demonic growth is leaving you right now living by the spirit of god help that woman that has something that looks like a master of truth hallelujah now hear me i'm going to pray for you there are some of you who will need to go to the hospital to verify i'm talking of growth particularly growth i want to pray and then we'll take other cases now in the name of jesus now please by faith make contact with any part of your body where that growth is and those in the crowd right where you are you can stand in for someone that you know you don't have to come out but you can stand in by faith lay your hands it is your your tummy or wherever if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just do what i'm asking you to do ah something is happening right now yes sir 
something is happening right now Jesus something special supernatural about your name Jesus help that woman please something happens when I met now I want to pray for you I'm seeing a whirlwind and I'm seeing a dark object just coming out of people right now I decree and declare the spirit that is part of this oppression I speak as one sent by the Lord let them go now let them go now let them go now release them every satanic influence I command that it comes out of your body now every satanic growth leaves now leaves now leaves now cancerous growth I command that they die from your body now fibroids I command a carosia de bacatosiata I command fibroids to dry out of this body now. Help them, please. I cause every fibroid, every growth, it leaves this body right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. And every kind of law that is found in any part of your body that was not ordained by God as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ here in Enugu State we caused it to go back to the devil where it came from in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm feeling a sharp pain at my left side. This is what one of you has. Very sharp pain at the left side. That demonic pain is living now. That satanic pain is living now. And hear me. If there is any one of you because of these fibroids, it has affected your fertility. I release you. Go and give birth now. Go and give birth now. Help that woman. I release you, go and keep that now. Help her, I release you, go and have your children now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Return to your seat rejoicing as you check yourself. We'll give room for you to testify. Now everyone else, there's a strong healing anointing here. Please rise up on your feet if you can. Lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Right now. Lay your hands. If you came with someone who is sick, inside or outside, now is the time to believe God for them. Lay your hands. Your head, lay your hands. If it's your ear, lay your hands there. If it's a part of your body, you don't have to bring them out. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest or wherever. If it's someone who is blind or you are the one who is blind, lay your hands on your eyes deaf ears, any kind of mobility problem, please lay your hands and let's trust the Lord for a miracle right now. My God, I sense such a strong anointing. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, Listen, Jesus was speaking and said, did I not tell you that if you can't believe that you will see the glory of God? I want to pray for you. In one minute, I want you to take your attention away from that sickness and just look unto Jesus. I know you are feeling the pain. I know the bones seem like they don't have life and strength. I know that the ear may seem deaf on one hand, whatever it is. I just want you to believe God. There is a lady from where I am standing. You are wearing white. That lady. It's not word of knowledge. I'm seeing her. I want to speak to her. 
that lady wearing white that is praying right now come I'm still praying for the sick but I want to speak to that lady come my dear look at me you are going to become a powerful vessel in the hand of God a very powerful vessel in the hand of God but he will lead you through many seasons of dealings there are prunings there are things that will happen but in the end of it it will be a very superior kind of believer that you will become and the Lord is asking me to pray for you if his stamina God has given it to you God place something upon your spirit that even you you are not aware of I stretch my hands let grace rest upon you that from today you will not be an ordinary person the consecrations and the dealings in the spirit that need to build you to become that vessel of honor I release that grace upon you now in the name of Jesus you will not be small you will be a powerful vessel in the hand of God grace to go through the dealings grace to go through the prunings grace to go through the circumcision until you evolve as a powerful vessel of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ impartation is very important for the continuity of God's program across a territory when God grants grace unto a man it is not just for that man it is for as many who desire to walk in those dimensions when the lamp went off because the oil finished the other virgins came to beg and he said go to them that sell and buy in every generation and in every territory there are always certain them that sell you don't buy with money you buy with meekness you buy with humility you buy with hunger you buy with open-heartedness go to them that sell and buy go to them that sell and buy when God sends a word to Jacob it is because he wants to lighten it upon Israel the intent is not just to have an apostolic conference within the East where God brought a man of God to come and teach preach and minister to people but that by the privilege of God's grace as touching the dimensions of grace he has given us that somebody in addition to what you already carry perhaps that you can be quickened by the spirit to a greater dimension of efficiency when that happens it has translated to profiting for the kingdom and so I want to speak over your life over the next five minutes and I want you to believe I want you to receive with all your heart that impartation is a release of grace that is coming upon you you don't have to bring the people under the anointing out for time since it's just an impartation they are receiving father when you call men it is because you want to anoint you want to lift you want to bless I'm praying right now in the name of Jesus that everybody who has been called into the prophetic office call to function in that office of a prophet whatever is limiting your performance in the spirit I measure a thousand cubits for you in the spirit and I decree and declare step into that river step into that river step into that prophetic river step into that prophetic river in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for everyone here whose prayer life has gone down in the name that is above all names let the grace to fan back your altar to flames may it be released upon you I pray in the name of Jesus that whoever has lost the passion to study the word the passion to be a diligent student of scripture just help them you don't have to bring them out in the name of Jesus let light from heaven rest upon your spirit now <laughs> hallelujah and then I'm praying for you there are many of you who have been crawling I want to release the grace for speed in the name that is above all names anyone who has been stunted in life and ministry as I stretch my hands let that anointing that brings acceleration to your life let it locate you wherever you are. Let it locate you wherever you are. Please help them. Receive the grace for speed. 
receive the grace for speed in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you a higher level of authority in the spirit. I am praying you will begin to command power with God in the name of Jesus Christ. Every church here that is struggling, whether in terms of membership or resources to do the work of the kingdom or abled hands to help the man of God, I decree and declare, may my God raise grace and support for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For every student who is on campus here, the intelligence that only comes from the spirit, I impart it upon your mind now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare that the forces of darkness, the forces of terrorism, the forces of evil and wickedness over Enugu state or any of the eastern states right now as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ we banish the influence of those spirits in the name of Jesus Christ and any group fraternity cult that is poised to kill lives to cause mayhem to stop people on the road and slaughter people we decree and declare let there be angels released on assignment let there be angels released on assignment every church of the lord jesus christ here in enugu and all other eastern states we declare let fire burn upon your altar now i decree and declare like the rain that comes from heaven let that investment of the spirit rest upon your life now let it begin to reign in your life let it begin to reign in your ministry let it begin to reign in your office let it begin to reign in your business in the name of jesus christ the spirit of untimely death that has plagued families and will not allow families move forward in the name of Jesus, I call upon my God, who is also your God. Let the dominion of death over families come to an end now. Please believe what you are receiving. Anyone here trusting God for a job, whether for you or for your children, I call upon the Lord God of heaven who helps men. Between now and the end of this year, may my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. In the name of Jesus. And I pray, this is a place that has been graced with the spirit of entrepreneurship. I pray for anybody who is struggling in business. Anybody who is struggling to make ends meet. In the name that is above all names. I place grace upon you. Go and begin to excel. 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 There are many of you who are here, but the truth is that your destiny is not in this nation. Wherever you are, I relocate you to the place of destiny. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. East of the Niger, let me pray for you. Your children will not serve the devil. Please shout a loud amen. Your children will not serve idols. There will never be a generation in the East that will reject the God of the Bible. Therefore, we decree and declare, let the fire of revival, let it rest upon the East. Let your sons and daughters call upon the name of the Lord. Let your sons and daughters call upon the name of the Lord. Let your sons and daughters call upon the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen. Any family that has been backward here that will not go forward, I stand as a prophetic midwife. I push you forward. I push you forward. Go forward in life. 
Go forward in destiny. Go forward in life. Go forward in destiny. Go forward in life. Go forward in destiny. Listen. Please don't be tired of receiving. Listen to me. I stand with all humility. There is something that is coming on you. I know what it means to be helped by God. This man who is standing before you is a testament of what it means to be helped by God. I have stood before kings, before nations, presidents, leaders, captains of industry. I am not one person who has the leverage of somebody coming to do this. No, it is the finger of God. There is a grace that comes upon a man. It's called the grace for visibility. It says, neither do men light a candle. That is the grace I want to release on you right now. Wherever you are, whatever has been hiding your glory, I call upon the God of Joshua that right here where you are, rise to a position of visibility. Rise to a position of visibility. Rise to a position of visibility in ministry, in business. Rise to a position of visibility. Hallelujah. The spirit of smallness that keeps you small in the name of Jesus. I cost it right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Please hear me. If there is any man who has despised your call and despised the hand of God upon your life, between now and the end of this year, 2023, I decree and declare, may the grace of God upon your life begin to speak evidently. Two more prayers. Two more prayers. Do you believe in financial blessings? I have told you, if you are not empowered economically, you will remain a slave forever. Any region, any person, any family, the purpose of prosperity is not for the marketing of the flesh. I was teaching my people and I told them, the moment you, you love Jesus and you understand the purpose of the blessing, don't be afraid to receive it. Listen to me. One of the ways that Satan keeps families and keeps destinies and churches bound is by surrounding them with zeal but with the spirit of poverty and lack there are many church buildings that have been stagnated there are many men of god who love jesus christ but right now they are parading the corridors of compromise because the means to take care of their children their wives their members there are many people destroying themselves becoming a prey to the devil i know that finances come when you transact wealth but let me tell you the truth. God can use men to bless you. I want to release a grace upon you. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands on my head and I'm praying by the message of the God of David, the one who opens a door that no man can shut. I am praying for you between now and the end of this year, a dimension of the help of God financially that you have not seen. May it come your way. 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 And for everyone here who has lost money, whether in business, lost money, whether your goods were hijacked, I don't care by what means and what form. By the mercy of God, may my God, who is also your God, restore you a thousandfold. Hallelujah. Finally, you stand and will kneel to pray this prayer. I place my hand upon the earth of the east. In the name of Jesus, as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, O earth, I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. If there is anything upon the soil of the east that destroys the program of God, by the mercy of God, let the blood speak right now. By the mercy of God, let the blood speak right now. By the mercy of God, let the blood speak right now. Hear me. 
I decree and declare the eastern region I said it yesterday I will repeat it again the dimension of grace that is supposed to serve the nations from here we open the gate for it to start manifesting every son of the soil daughter of the soil that has been ordained to serve the purposes of God whether financially or ministerially and there is a spirit that surrounded you and just box you in the east here without having a global visibility I declare may that gate this night be open may that gate this night be open may that gate this night be open in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah Thank you for your patience. Please give me the honor to make one last altar call. And then I will hand over to the host. Please be patient. Just learn five minutes and we're gone. Let's be disciplined in God's presence and to finish well. You are in this place and you are saying, Apostle, do not end this conference without giving me an opportunity to love Jesus. I made an altar call yesterday night. And I know that there are many of you. I saw several people outside. Please, I want you to listen to me. No one can compel you to come to Jesus, but your eternal destiny and your destiny even right here depends on it. I want to make an altar call, two calls in one. You are saying, I genuinely want to hand over my life to Jesus Christ to make it right. I'm tired of playing church and playing religion. I want to make it right with the Lord Jesus. Or you are saying, I am here. I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. There's no need to be afraid and ashamed. You know it because the Holy Spirit is already speaking to you. I'm going to count one to five. While everyone is seated, I want you to run and leave your seat. Come and stand here. At the end of the fifth call, I begin to pray. One, let's celebrate them as they come. Don't say I'm an usher. Don't say I'm a worker. Leave what you are doing and come before Jesus. Come. You don't have to kneel for space. Just stand. And look who are you celebrating salvation. Come. 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 Thank you. Thank you for making it right with Jesus. Young and old. Male, female. Come. We're out of time, but we will wait for you. You are worth our sacrifice. You will worth the blood of Jesus. Come. Let's celebrate those coming from outside. I still see a few people running from outside. Hallelujah. I see some of you coming to drop seats. Just be patient with the issue of seats first, please. Let's just finish the altar call. I'm sure there will be room for you to give, but let's, let's focus on salvation. Just those who are coming to give their hearts to the Lord, come. The Bible says there is joy in heaven, rejoicing in heaven over the salvation of one sinner. Come. Thank you. Now for all of you who are in front, I want to say a very big thank you for giving me the honor to lead you to make this for some of you as a first time decision and then for others as a rededication. Either ways, you are most welcome. It is never too late to make it right with Jesus. May I please request that you lift your right hand if you can, high above your head as a sign of surrender. And I want you to say this very loud and say it clearly. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I have seen your power. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that I am a child of God from this day forward I live for Jesus amen keep your hands lifted blessed father we thank you for these precious ones if this is all you did today we are most grateful for these precious souls that you have brought the Bible declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away these ones have come 
as an act of faith, believing in your substitutionary sacrifice. Therefore, by the authority of Scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. And in the name of Jesus, I call you recipients of the life of God. I call you the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And I pray that from tonight, you begin to walk in victory. You go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now, we did that yesterday and I want to repeat myself. I know that this is a final session. I'm going to ask you for sake of time to return back to your seat. But here is this. Anytime you are called upon, if there is a way of getting, I thought that there will be forms for them to fill. But either ways, here's my encouragement for you. Make sure, oh, there are forms. Okay, here's what will happen. Please collect one of the cards, then you can go back to your seat. Make sure, um, please pass it for them. You don't have to pass it round. Make sure you pick a card before you go back to your seat. You will fill it and then submit it on your way out to any of the ushers so that you have a few officials to follow on with you. You don't have to fill it here. You just make sure you have the card. The moment you have the card, then you are free to return back to your seat. May the Lord bless you. Let's celebrate them as they go. Let's celebrate them. Make sure you pick your card. Be patient until you are given a card. And then afterwards, you can return to your seat. Hallelujah. Before I invite Reverend Dan to come take the mic, please come, Reverend Dan. I want to speak over your life and your wife. Both of you come quickly. And then I speak over your life. And then I want to say a very big thank you to Enugu. You have honored me for over seven years or thereabout. I come into this city every year. I do not take for granted your love and your honor. First to the servants of the living God in this land. Thank you very much. And then to the entire Eastern region. Thank you for your honor. Thank you for all that you do. I'm, I'm praying that as a result of this conference, that God himself will elevate the East of the Niger to a higher dimension of grace. Stretch your hands in one minute and speak over Reverend Dan and his wife. They have been of immense help and immense benefit i want to lay my hands on him and the wife please just lend if you have been blessed by this conference in one minute the ability to shelve their own agenda to focus on the non-denominational expression to just see jesus revealed over the land it takes a heart for the lord they have spent their resources they have put all kinds of things together stretch your hands in one minute as we pray for another measure another dimension of grace father thank you for reverend dan and his dear wife thank you for their church their ministry and all they are involved with lord as i lay my hands upon them i'm praying in the presence of your people